Here at the Odeon in Leicester Square, I've come to the long-awaited premiere of Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. This film has a massive cult viewing as it's based on the adventurous video game. Ask you, what interested you in the movie The Prince of Persia? Well, I was actually in Persia last year, so I was hoping that watching this movie, I could see you know a little bit of where I, where I saw, basically. And also Jake Gyllenhaal, the actor, any film of his is absolutely fantastic. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of his work. It's all good stuff. So. Well, thank you very much. That's, that's great. Thank no you. Thank you. Well, the film's about to start. My prince hasn't arrived. I've been stood up. Oh, well. A bottle of Coke, a box of popcorn, and a glimpse of the prince will do nicely. I'm off. The Secret is out. This morning at Waterstones on Oxford Street, the best-selling novel, The Secret, was released for sale with the novelist Rhonda Byrne signing copies. The mystique that surrounds this book of positive thinking can be life-changing, but in spite of results showing increased wealth, health, happiness, love and more, there's been much criticism with the claims of the book being highly controversial. Over to Dr Jones, a psychologist, to gauge her opinion on The Secret. When we think of London, what comes to mind? Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, the Queen, of course, black cabs. Cabbies know all the best places to get a good, greasy fry up, mm, as well as the cheapest markets, and even where to find bargain discounted shoes and clothes. How's about that, ladies? Who needs a tour guide when you've got a cabbie? I'm off my cabbie, Mike, to discover London's best kept secrets if you believe in angels it is said only a few walk this earth spreading their magic and love my guest today is founder of the charity angel love established in 2003 for the underprivileged in london she especially cares for the elderly who live on their own and have no social interaction born and raised in anugu nigeria she's with me now lillian okenwa hi lillian Hello, Carla. angel love what made you start this charity up I started Angel Love in 2003 because I wanted to make a change in the lives of the elderly. Many people don't really care much for the old and the, we just took it up to make a difference in their lives. Thank you. What an absolute pleasure to meet such a wonderful lady who's changed so many people's lives. If I said to you the word squash, what comes to mind? A fruity drink, no doubt? Well. I'm not sure players of the game would be too happy knowing that all their blood, sweat and tears have been squashed into a bottle of Robinson's Orange. In fact, squash is a sport, an extraordinary sport, often referred to as a game of chess, a mind game. I'm here in Ealing at one of London's oldest squash clubs to chat with members and find out how to make this game more appealing. With the 2012 Olympics and World Cup just around the corner, it got me thinking. Who's my all-time favourite sports hero? Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxer ever. Who's yours? Let's find out. Can you tell me if you've got a sports hero? Um, I suppose Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Why is Muhammad Ali your sporting He's hero? He's iconic. He's iconic. In what way is he iconic to you? Uh, not just as a sportsman. Um, you know, the, his view on the world and life, I suppose. Wow, that's amazing. A good, a good sort of um, role model. Yeah, he's a, he's a great role model, yeah. isn't he? And yeah. uh, such a fantastic legend. Thank he you is, ever yes. so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Who's your all-time favourite sports hero? That's me, David Gower. Can you tell me who's your all-time sports hero? Uh, well, John Terry. John Terry. Now, yeah. well, we had various sporting heroes, a footballer, a cricketer, a boxer. Oh, and we had Muhammad Ali again. I told you he was the greatest. 